Hello and welcome to IB Times TV. I'm Liana Brinded, an editor at the International Business Times. Joining me now is Elena Shakina, and she's a new gallery opener. So hi, thanks for joining us. <laughs> Hello. Well, this is a very exciting time for you. You're opening a gallery in September. Can you tell me some of the challenges that you faced in transforming from a student and apprentice to opening, opening a gallery? Well, uh, first uh, I have to say that uh, my new gallery space won't be ready till September. Uh, so at the moment uh, I'm uh, using alternative spaces for showcasing my artist works uh, to be a lead up for my gallery opening. And can you tell me about some of the kinds of arts we're going to expect to see there? Uh, I'm uh, planning to show uh, new, some new artists and uh, artists who didn't have uh, big exposure yet. And the uh, path to becoming a gallerist has been made up easier to be an uh, artist myself. And uh, I understand uh, a feeling of artists struggling to get a space and visibility. And uh, uh, so artists will feel that I'm here to help them as best as I can. And uh, also, I think that strong working relationship with the artist will be uh, key to the success of my gallery. Well, exactly. You've had such a great background as also being a, a student to uh, Israel Soha as well. So maybe you can tell me a bit about how you think um, his portraits capture maybe an essence and a legacy of the, his subjects. Uh, I can uh, feel the uh, strength uh, of his objects with how he express them. And uh, uh, I would like to say about uh, Diana's portrait. I think the first uh, portrait uh, he done, it uh, showed her timidity perfectly. Uh, she looked uh, so anxious almost, but in the new portrait which we are showing, uh, you can see her as a, a strong woman, uh, and uh, also another thing uh, I can feel is uh, her warmth and kindness, which is a great uh, thing, I think, for portrait. Well, she seems like an ideal subject for something like fine art. So what would you say is a, maybe a category or a certain person that you would like to paint eventually? Uh, I do admire a strong woman and... Uh, uh, that's why I do like this uh, Lady Diana's portrait and uh, uh, there are many people who I admire but uh, who come first to my mind. I do like Elizabeth Taylor because I think uh, you can see her beauty and her career and also so many kind, her kind heart and how many things she's done. Okay, and I mean, I'm supposed to wrap up with um, art in general. Can you tell me how integral it is to maybe society and obviously the transformation of uh, certain subjects? Uh, well, uh, I would like uh, maybe to talk about portraits a little bit uh, because in, uh, I think this is a fascinating genre. And uh, for example, in pre-photography, uh, it was only to capture a subject or a person, or it was a way to to document someone's life and uh, career. But uh, in the post-photography times, uh, portrait is uh, much more important because uh, this is the way how you can see personality on the portrait, not only image of face of a person. Okay, great. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. You don't just learn about British history through articles and literature. You can just take a look around you in London at many pieces of art that really signifies our legacy. Joining me earlier was Elena Chikina, and she turned from student of renowned portrait artist Israel Zohar to gallery opener come September. We talked about the royal family, portraits, but also how art is integral to society.